Good morning, this is Tommy with Kicks and Bricks, and we are back with another short video. So today we are going to discuss Mech, how to set up for Shopify, Yeezy Supply, and also automations. I did Balco yesterday. Uh, there was a request or two on setting up Mech. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go over initial uh, restocks, and then we'll go into automations as well. So Mech is a little different than other bots and a few different reasons. So first and foremost, once you create a task group with Mech, you cannot change anything. You cannot change your sizes or um, pretty much the site that you're running for has to stay the same as well on your task group. So we'll just give you a quick example. Yesterday, Jimmy Jazz dropped the um, Siempre family, Familia Dunks. So I was running for that here. Now, initial for Jimmy Jazz or any site that's going to throw up a checkpoint or have a queue, you're always going to want to make sure that you're running safe preload mode. Now, what preload mode will do is we'll pick up an item, get into queue, you'll bypass queue, and then you'll go to waiting for a uh, product. But you want to make sure that you calculate the time you're going to get out of queue to be around 57 or 58. So if the drop is at 10, you want to make sure you're out of queue and waiting for product around 958, 957, somewhere around there. Now, so initially what we'll do is we'll go ahead and set up. Now for restocks, which I was running, I generally run two different uh, task groups for restocks. So the first task group I'll run safe preload in which all my tasks will go to waiting for restock and then I will run a group that is preload only. Now what that does and generally when Jimmy Jazz is done dropping they'll take down checkpoint there won't be any bot protection up um, so preload mode will attempt to check out the item constantly. So while these tasks will go to waiting for restock because it's safe preload, if I run just preload mode, all my tasks will go to submitting payment out of stock retrying. Now, you have to be careful when running this mode because if you run it too long, they will ban your proxies. They will 429 your proxies. There we go. Okay, so you'll notice that now it's picking up. And all my tasks will go to submitting payment out of stock, retrying. See? You have to be careful when you run this. You can't run it for too long. If you do, you have to run it. I generally run it between 15 and 20,000 delays. That way, each task will try every 15 or 20 seconds to submit payment. So if they drop any time in between while I'm running, it'll start to check out the item. And I'll run two. So that way, waiting for restock will be for one and then submitting payment for the other one. Now on sites that have password pages, like right now Undefeated has a password page up um, or any other site that has a password page up, you cannot do preload mode when running for a site that has a password page because you can't get through the site to pick up an item to cart it to get out of queue. So what you're going to do in that instance is you are going to run extra safe and take off preload. Extra safe mode for password pages is pretty much, you'll never run nothing at all. Uh, at least for me, myself, I generally don't find it lucrative. It's not beneficial to run um, for a site with nothing checked. You're going to want to figure at least extra safe mode for password pages preload mode only for sites that are restocking without bot protection and then safe preload if you're running for sites that have like for instance shop nice kicks or shoe palace you're going to want to run safe preload mode for um, even when they're restocking because they have checkpoint up as well now for restocks what i generally do say for instance i want to insert a link um into jimmy jazz they go ahead and shock drop something so what i would do is just like balco i just type in two words that aren't going to pick up anything so we would go safe uh place words 
we start our tasks. Everything should go to monitoring. And then once it's on monitoring, say Jimmy Jazz drops, you'll highlight, you'll insert link, you'll click save. And then after a few seconds, it should pick up product and start going automatically to checking out. And you can do that on any site. Now, if the site drops with, with checkpoint up, you're going to want to make sure that you're running. You can run those same place words, but you're going to want to make sure you choose safe before you drop your link. So these tasks will go to monitoring the same. And then once they drop, you'll highlight, you'll insert link, and then that will start to generate. Um, it'll pick up product and start to do that. Mech is a little glitchy sometimes. Sometimes in order for a task, you'll, you'll notice it picked up, but all my tasks stopped automatically. Sometimes it's glitchy. In that instance, you can do one of two things. You can create a new task group or duplicate the task group. Go in and just click start and everything should be fine then. And then I generally just stop these tasks and these ones will uh, start to check out. Now for automations, automations are pretty easy, uh, but it is definitely beneficial if you're not going to be by your computer or if it's overnight, some sites like Kith, um, uh, do drop in the middle of the night, sometimes like four or five o'clock in the morning, sometimes they drop restocks. So you go to automations, you'll name your automation. So for example, if I want to run for easy slides and easy foam runners, I would run easy slides and then easy runner. And you can do a variation of all of it. I know some sites drop RNNR, or you can just do Yeezy Foam. Generally, that's how they drop is Yeezy Foam. Runner could be RNNR or spelt another way. And then I would just put Yeezy there. And then you can choose your sites that you want to run. So if I want to monitor Kith, Concepts, DSM, eShop, random sizing. You can choose your profiles as well. Your proxies, how long you want to run for, and then your account pool for your site concepts you need to log in. Then you just click save. Oh, quantity. And then once you click quantity, there it is right there. It's monitoring already for you. And then if you need to update it, you'll click it. You'll click update. You'll make any changes you need to make. And then you'll just click update and it'll update the task group. That's pretty much it. Mech is uh, easy on Shopify. Now for Yeezy Supply. For Yeezy Supply, what you would do, it's, it's very simple. So you want to make sure that your entire link is in the monitoring uh, for your keywords. You want to make sure you will start a, an entire task group. So we'll go to Yeezy Supply. We'll run for blush. Your product link goes here. Always click save. A lot of people will make changes. They'll forget to click save. And then the second they click out of the task group, it goes right back to your default settings. I'm on a server, so localhost will not work. So let's run subnet, click save again. Now your 3D is going to be, so if you're running hard cards and you have 3DS, this is what, so a white box will pop up right before you check out. This is what that white box is going to use for the proxy. So for instance, if you're running ISPs in this group, the white box will be ran by one of the ISPs, by your task proxy. If you're on a residential task group, say for instance, I'm running Diamond Resis, and that white box, I don't want it to be ran by a resi because it's super slow. So what I would do is I would make a task group with proxies. 
I would put ISPs in it and then I would just choose that ISP group in order to run my white boxes for my resis. So leave it on task proxy for your ISP task groups. And then for your resi, you want to make a ISP group called 3DS in your proxy section and then choose that for your resi task groups because that is what is going to run your 3DS boxes right before you check out on Yeezy Supply. I run privacy, so we don't have 3DS on privacy, so I generally don't use it, but it's there just in case. Um, and then once you choose that, cap is none. I use in bot harvesters. This is for AYCD. If you're going to run AYCD, you can choose that. Um, and then next, you'll choose your profiles, how many tasks you want per profile, and then your size, and then you just create. Now, they do have waiting for sale now in a V3 test. This is if you want to test to see if your connection to AYCD is good. So what you would do in this instance is before the drop, not during, you'd check this, you'd start all your tasks, and then you would check your AYCD to make sure that it's getting requests for V3. If it's not, that means you're not set up correctly. You need to change something, fix something, and then try it again. I don't run with any with wait sale. Um, I tried it last drop. I didn't like the way that it that it worked. So I generally start all my tasks about four to five minutes before 9 a.m. or before whenever they drop. Um, because once the sale starts or when your cook group says to start your tasks, by then, everyone's starting at the same time, and there generally is going to be a lot of people that are trying to um, get into queue at that time, and it's going to be, sometimes it, it, it doesn't work. It takes a really long time for mech to get into splash, so I always start around four to five minutes before nine. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, it's not too difficult. Um, in the settings section... There is for your accounts, everything is here. Um, if you wanna add your accounts for any website that you have, whether it be undefeated, whether it be concepts, um, you can log into anything there. Your shipping rates are going to be here. For undefeated, for Kith, they have shipping rates. You wanna make sure you get those from your cook group. And then once you have those applied, you'll see for here, shipping rate is here just check that box right before you start your tasks also mech has came out with ai now for h captcha so for the draw the boxes around the cat or draw the boxes around the plane um, it is in beta stage so i would not trust a hundred percent all your tasks on ai so if you're running 10 tasks put five on ai um I generally just do two or three just in case. If you see fallback on your status, that means that your AI failed and you need to solve manually. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions concerning the tutorial or if you want to know anything that I did not go over or if anything that you do not understand, feel free to reach out in the comments below. I will answer any and all questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. We do go live before every major drop. And then we do go live the day of as a live cop. And I am always available to answer any questions. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications so you guys know when I go live. And have a great day.